Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka okay, the Winnowing Nick's Games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can install open mods, or open blocks, in Minecraft 1.7.10. Yes, this isn't a 1.8 tutorial, but this is my second favorite mod ever. You guys really enjoyed my Tinker's Construct tutorial, which is my first favorite mod ever and how to install that. So I thought, why not go ahead and teach you guys how to install open blocks, uh, since you guys enjoyed the uh, Tinker's Construct one. This is my second favorite mod. It adds a ton of just random stuff, in all honesty, to Minecraft. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, you need to go to openblocks.info, or the first link in the description down below. Go down there, click that. It will take you to this page. We can then go ahead and download both open mods lib right here. So click that. It will download the mod, which we want to keep, and open blocks right here. So let's go ahead and click download open blocks. Boom, there you go. We also want to keep that mod. However, we're not done yet. We still need to download Minecraft Forge. To do that, you need to go to files.minecraftforge.net or the second link in the description down below. Go down there, click that. It will take you to this page where we don't want to use 1.8, which is what is here by default. We want to highlight 1.7.10 or click it and then go to 1.7.10 right here and click that. Now we want to go over here to download recommended and click the second button, not the first one, the second one, which is for installer, as you can see. Click on the installer. It will then take us off to add focus, which is what Forge uses to make a little bit of money back off of all the work they put into their mods. Same as that fly, except it's this. If you have any issues with it, simply right click and reload. If that doesn't work, Google how to enable cookies and whatever browser you have. Go to the tutorials there and then come back and it should work. If that still doesn't work for you, sadly there's nothing else we can do. Add focus is something Forge has to use to make a little bit of money back for all the work they put into their mods. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click skip right here. And boom, we can go ahead and keep Forge. Close out of that, close out of that, and close out of that. Now on our desktop, we've got... Uh, three things here. We've got open mods, library, which is what is needed for open blocks, and we've got forge. Let's start by installing forge. By the way, if these aren't on your desktop, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in downloads, hit enter. They will be right here in your downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and install forge. To do that, you want to right click on it, open with Java TM platform SC binary. Click that. It will open up this handy little installer where we want to click install client and click OK. It should go through and successfully install. If it does not go run Minecraft 1.7.10 with no mods, no anything installed, come back and it will work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click OK. And now we can delete the Forge file we downloaded. Now let's go ahead and get these two mods installed. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. The difference is this time we don't want to go to Downloads. We want to go to Percent, App Data Percent, Percent, APP, DATA, Percent. Right there, percent app data percent hit enter. It will take us here to the roaming folder, and we want to go into dot Minecraft where we'll have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? It's not the end of the world. Calm down, we can fix this. All we want to do is right click over here in this white space, create a new folder, type mods all lowercase, the word mods all lowercase. If it's not all lowercase, it don't we won't work, so make sure it's all lowercase, exactly like I have it here. Go ahead and open your newly created mods folder and drag both the open mods lib and the open blocks mod right here into it. Now you're good to go. It's time to open up uh, the Minecraft launcher and get things rolling. So let's go in here into Minecraft and we'll have the launcher open. Now the thing is we'll need to choose the profile we want to play, which in this case is 1.7.10. To do that, you want to click on Nick's Games here, whatever profile you want to play. In my case, that's Nick's Games. For you, it might be something completely different. Hit Edit Profile, and then come over here to where it says Use Version. Click this box right next to Use Version. Boom, and scroll all the way down until you see 1.7.10-Forge. Click that, click Save Profile, and click Play. It'll now go through, do some things, install some stuff and open up Minecraft 1.7.10 with Forge installed with uh, open blocks installed as well. Pretty cool. I will show you guys it's installed and, and all that awesome stuff. And as you can see here, we've got Minecraft Forge. We can go into mods and there is open mods core and open mods awesomeness. But that's not enough. Let's go ahead and launch into a creative world here, which might give me an error and say things aren't installed. That's from a previous mod, not a, uh, a new one. And it actually looks like it crashed. Now, the reason this crash happened is I like to show you guys how to fix crashes live is because our render distance was set too high for 1.8. So let me go ahead and launch 1.8 real quick. I'll show you guys how to fix this, and then we'll launch 1.7.10, and it will work perfectly. Now, 
This is probably going to happen to many of you guys, so I'm glad it happened to me. So we just opened up 1.8.3, options, video settings, render distance. We're going to turn that down to 13, which it has to be below 16. So 16 or below. I would just recommend 13. We can turn it up once we get back over there. Quit the game. Now we need to reopen up the Minecraft launcher, right? So go into Minecraft, Minecraft. This is because we've ran 1.8 previously and are trying to now run 1.7.10 with a high render distance. We need to choose the Forge profile yet again. Save, play offline, boom, we should be good to go now. It should install and work well perfectly. Um, the reason it crashed there again wasn't because the mods were installed wrong or anything like that. It was simply a render distance issue, which does occasionally happen if uh, you switch back versions. So now if we go into not multiplayer, but single player, go into creative, it will launch up and be perfectly fine. As you can see, we can now go in here and search, for example, open. And there is the open blocks book, right? Um, I forget what this all adds. I mean, it adds right here, as you can see, the golden egg. It adds, what else? Anything else here? I'm trying to see. There's just, this This adds so much random stuff. Like, I don't even know. We've got this. It looks like it adds the golden eye as well. Um, I don't know. What does open blocks even add? And we've got, let's see here. I don't even know. There's just open blocks adds so much stuff building guides and all of that this will walk you through this book which you will instantly get when you spawn in walks you through basically everything that's added from the auto anvil to the auto enchantment table to the bear trap to you know ropes and fans and sprinklers and xp drains and all of that stuff this adds a ton of stuff to minecraft and is a great way just to expand Minecraft into uh, something more than just the standard vanilla stuff. So there you guys have it. That's how you can not only fix that uh, crash issue if you have that, but additionally install open blocks in Minecraft 1.7.10. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nyx Games, and I make awesome Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Here are some videos you guys might want to go check out down. That way we got how to install Optifine in Minecraft 1.8.3. Optifine lets you run, well, Minecraft 1.8.3 with less lag. It's a performance optimization mod, so go check it out. And down the other way, we've got Modtastic Episode 33, which is an awesome weekly modded Minecraft Let's Play series that has open blocks in it, along with like 150 other mods. It's kind of insane. So anyway, guys, go check that out if you want some uh, more modded Minecraft. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.